19 UCLA at Arizona. You got Arizona has been hot recently, coming off of a big win against Oregon State. UCLA coming off of a big win, maybe a biggish win against Colorado. You know, the, the, the public and stuff like that, they've always been all over Colorado. Uh, UCLA is favored by three in this game, a night game in Tucson. You got Ethan Garber versus Noah Fafita. Let's start out there with the quarterbacks. Ethan Garbers, what'd you like? What'd you see from him last week? Two picks, but man, is the game won the game for him there. Uh, let's start with Ethan Garbers, and then we'll go Noah Fafita, who's been the hottest Pac-12 quarterback, I think, yeah. in the last couple weeks. Yeah, you know, um, I think uh, Ethan Garbers, if you turn the ball over this weekend, you're going to lose by two touchdowns. You cannot turn the football over against this Arizona team. Their defense is playing extremely aggressive, physical style of football right now. Um, it's almost like Noah Fafita has kind of like in, like injected like a level of confidence and swagger into this team um, on the offensive side of the ball. They're running the football really, really well. Um, so what I would say is UCLA, you're going to have to definitely uh, run the football with Carson Steele if you want Ethan Garbers to be able to have the opportunity to throw the football down the field. So uh, run the football, create opportunities in the play action. Um, hopefully if you run the ball well on first and second down, or even first down, um, creating second and short opportunities will allow Ethan Garbers to not only open up the playbook, to, but to be aggressive, pushing the ball down the field to his receivers. What do you like about Noah Fafita? Let's go Noah Fafita side. What's not to like about Noah Fafita? Obviously, <laughs> all name team, Noah Fafita, great name. Um, but also just his poise under pressure, right? At the end of the day, like if you watched Jaden Delora play the game, Noah Fafita is almost like a more relaxed, more accurate, and just better Jaden Delora. They're the same stature, kind of short, stockier, um, Hawaiian kid, or sorry, Salmon kid, um, and uh, just able to play the position at such a high level um, at such a young age. Like, it's fun to watch him just deal the football, Jacob Cowling, Tedero McMillan, um, he's been avoiding the big mistake, which has been awesome to see. Um, he's been able to push the ball down the field, be aggressive, um, with those wide receivers on the outside. No Fafita is like, like you said, he's been probably one of the hottest quarterbacks, if not the hottest quarterback in the Pac-12 the last few weeks. Big win over Washington State. Big win last week against Oregon State. Um, yeah, on a roll. Arizona still with an outside shot. If Crazier things happen to get into the Pac-12 championship with only two conference losses right now. So mm. don't be surprised if the Wildcats make some noise down the stretch. Big keys to victory. Let's start with Arizona. I think they've got to be able to stop Carson Steele. Let Ethan Garbers, if Ethan Garbers wins you with his arm, by all means, UCLA deserves to win this football game. Two interceptions last, last week, and those two interceptions, the dude stares the crap out of his wide receivers. Not very mobile. Stares to one side. Doesn't really look off safety as much last week of what I saw from Colorado. I think that's a big thing they got to do. Carson Steele, coming off of two fumbles last week. You already know when it comes to guys that have come off fumbles like that, the entire week the ball security is going to be emphasized. It's going to be ingrained in his head. You know, him carrying two footballs around everywhere, getting punched out. Maybe they tell, you know, the scout team, hey, after runs, after, after long runs, punch the football from behind. Don't stop punching the football until the ball is being set. Like I, I used to do that all the time at Montana when I was struggling with fumbling in practice. I'd, I'd run, think the play was over, boom. Ball gets, <laughs> ball, yeah, exactly. Ball gets punched <laughs> out. Next thing you know, you're running laps. So I think the biggest thing at Memphis, he's going to be nervous when it comes to you know running the football. Maybe he'll have certain carries that make him comfortable in that situation. But I think that's the point of emphasis for Arizona. Punch the football out. And they did well against Damian Martinez last week with 87 yards. Old Carson Steele under 100. You're in a good situation there for Arizona. Absolutely. Arizona, if you can first, I'd say if Arizona forces two to three turnovers, they probably win this football game. Mm. And if, if you're a guy that loves the trenches, this is a game to watch. Because Arizona's offensive line, probably one of the better offensive lines in the Pac-12 versus the best defensive line in the Pac-12. With uh, Lele Le Tua, Le Tua, um, he had two sacks last week against Colorado, two tackles for loss. He's got eight and, a half, eight and a half sacks this whole season. And the Murphy boys, Grayson and Gabriel Murphy. Look at these guys up. The, they're two dominant. twins, identical, dominant. When you're defensive linemen, all three defensive linemen are your leading sackers, and they can, you can only rush three or four, and maybe even five, and then get to the quarterback. It's unreal. They both had one and a half sacks, two tackles for losses last week. They've got they've got nine and a half sacks between the between the two Murphy brothers. 
Um, that's huge. I mean, if they can get to Noah Fafita, make him uncomfortable, especially the edge rushes there. I think that's something to look out for. Uh, I mean, Arizona, they only allowed four sacks last week. That's kind of a lot, not not too bad against an Oregon State front. But my last thing with offensive line, defensive line, and I'll throw it to you, Cody. Jordan Morgan, a guy to look out for for Arizona's offensive tackle. Most haven't projected as a first-round talent. And then lay two, lay two. I just mentioned the UCLA defensive end. So I love seeing those offensive line and defensive line matchups because when those guys go to the league, you'll probably see that once again. But if you're an offensive lineman or defensive lineman out there that wants to see some good trenches, some battles in the trenches, this is the game to watch out for. And Morgan and Latou are the two guys to look. Absolutely, absolutely. Anytime it's offensive line versus defensive line, that means that it's going to be directly affecting the quarterback. Can Noah Fafita stay upright, avoid a mm. turnover, um, and can Ethan Garbers do the same? Um, Arizona's DB, DBs and defense have been playing extremely aggressive. Uh, so don't be surprised if you maybe see a double move in the passing game for UCLA just to take advantage of that aggressiveness from the Arizona secondary. Um, and can Justin Flo continue to be um, the run stopper and kind of like the emotional leader of this Arizona defense? We didn't even mention him too. Jonah Coleman for Arizona is going to be a big guy. If they can, when they blitz, third and long, second and long, find him at the check down. Him and Wiley there, I think you're going to be big in the passing game. What's a key player for you? We'll get into our predictions. Tedaroa McMillan, wide receiver, Arizona. Noah Fafita, that's your boy. Feed him early and often. Make mm-hmm. sure that Tetaroa McMillan is eaten. I say eight catches, 135 yards, two touchdowns, um, and some timely third down conversions as well for Tetaroa McMillan. I mentioned it. I think Latou and Morgan. That's going to be the matchup to watch out for. Those two are going to set the defensive line and the defense for UCLA. So all the offensive line and the offense for Arizona. But when it's all said and done, Cody, I'm going. I'm riding with them. I'm going Arizona in this game. I think they pull the upset. They've been they've been streaking lately. I like where this team's going. And uh, the over under total there, Cody, for this one is at 51 and a half. I think it's gonna be a high scoring game, but not too high scoring. I think Arizona wins. I think they win 26 to 20 over UCLA. Great pick. I was gonna go 28 21 myself. Arizona, break out some new uniforms or something this weekend. Do yeah, something like some crazy grays. with the zoo. Mm. Do something like a whiteout or something like that and have everyone in white. Let's see if they can do something cool over there in Arizona. <laughs> or some like black unis, that'd be fire. All Ooh. black. They do have these like dark navy with the red helmet that they did a couple years ago when Khalil mm. Tate was the wide receiver or was their quarterback. He was so tough. He was Dude, so what? tough. What? Khalil Tate. That, that one month might be arguably one of the best months that we've seen from a quarterback. <laughs> that one month. It was. Bro, in four games, he rushed for 1,300 yards. That's crazy. That's that's ridiculous. That's nuts. Well, let's keep going, Cody. We're, we're only halfway through. There's so many good <laughs> games this weekend. We're only halfway through, folks, so stick with us. 